Really, Lee? Really? Welcome back to Atlantic Motorsports Park here in Shubenacadie. We're getting geared up for track series round number two tomorrow. Uh, today was uh, another uh, lapping school and lapping session. Uh, it looked like it was a pretty fun day for a lot of folks. I got here a little bit late and um, met up with Carson Exports, our title sponsor for track series. You'll see their, uh, their banners on all the cars. Great to have them on board and it was really awesome to help them uh, do a little bit of promotion. Um, a for uh, awesome McLaren 720S that they have for sale. I can still barely talk after the experience with that car. And also for their big car show they've got coming up August 31st here at AMP, which is going to be awesome. So try not to miss that. Try to make it out for that if you can, if you're in the area. Um, but yeah, anyways, it was kind of, kind of a fun experience doing the promotion for that, uh, driving the car around and getting some cool shots. Really awesome experience. So thanks Carson Exports for that. And uh, thanks for being on board with us. It really, really means a lot to have uh, such an awesome, uh, awesome company backing what we do out here at AMP. So tomorrow is the race and it's supposed to rain. So, I have no idea how much it's gonna rain. Uh, I've heard anywhere for five to 15 millimeters, whatever that is in freedom units, I'm not really sure. So uh, I got a new set of tires on. I got a little bit of work to do on the car, so we're gonna get to that. I know a lot of people watch, uh, watch random Scandinavian dudes build a cabin in the middle of the woods for like three hours on YouTube. So I'm gonna show you how I set up my sleeping quarters in the trailer. Let's see if you guys can watch that for 30 seconds, maybe three hours. Let's spend three hours setting up. That'll help the views. And there you go. That's how you sleep in a trailer. No, no, you're good. I don't even know what I'm gonna say. I just set this mic up, so I gotta do it again. Yeah. Good morning. 
<laughs> it's a beautiful day. <laughs> Good morning. It is race day, uh, track series race number two um, at Atlantic Motorsports Park. And uh, yeah, we just had a practice, just got the tires kind of scrubbed in and warmed up and got the car warmed up, me warmed up. Uh, need a little more coffee today. Um, yesterday was awesome, absolutely awesome in that uh, in the McLaren. Today it hasn't started raining yet, so qualifies up in a little bit. So we'll see what happens. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun either way. So stay tuned. We'll see where I place with qualifying. Fingers crossed. I don't break out. Please don't break out. Qualifying is done. Uh, ran a 17.1, I think. Uh, the breakout again for this class, I can't go any faster than a 16.5, otherwise I get booted to the back. But I think two people got booted to the back. Uh, and Mike Guy was uh, just off the pace uh, behind me, so I'll be on the pole, Mike Guy behind me, and I think Joel and, and the Del Sol. Joel and the Del Sol, I love that, it's catchy. Um, and then uh, Brian Gay and the GTI will be behind him. So as long as I can keep the heat, right out of the gate. I'm hoping that it'll take them a while to catch up to me. And I, uh, yeah, cause I don't know <laughs> if Brian and Joel get behind me, I'm gonna get nervous. The next race is coming up. So I'm gonna check some stuff on the car, put some fuel in it and uh, see how the race goes, baby. Yeah. Getting into grid. Hello, James. Thank you, sir. Here we go, race one. Stock cars and GT1 class will be out in front of me. They'll be gone by a half a lap. I gotta focus on the Civic, driven by Mike, and the E36, driven by Kevin, and then behind him is gonna be Joel and Brian and the GTI. This is the furthest up I've ever started in a race. This is kinda nice, I'll get used to it. Nice view there. This message is brought to you in part by Sensory Motorsports. Get in touch with Sensory Motorsports for all your motorsport needs. All right, I'm gonna watch these guys just walk away from me with their 500 something horsepower. Goodbye. But my battle is just beginning. Down into turn one, Mike is on my outside. Looks like he gets a little bit of a lockup and I drive it down into the entry to two and defend the, uh, defend the corner. Now, on the throttle, get out of here just try to get as far ahead as I can. Mike's super fast in the Civic, but it looks like he's gonna have a little battle here with Brian up on his inside, pushes him offline, and he's already working his way around him. We're not even to turn four yet. So Joel is right behind Brian uh, in the Del Sol there. And yeah, this is a view I don't get very often. Nobody ahead, but people behind. And they are creeping on me, making me nervous. So all I can do is just try to keep my, keep my lap times down into that 16, no faster than 16.5, but they're already working their way. I was really hoping they were gonna battle a little bit more there and choke each other up, but as you can see, um, the Del Sol kind of drops back, so Brian's able just to plow his way down this straightaway. And look at the power. He closes the gap on the, on the back straight, and I'm able to kind of Maybe out-tire him, out-break him on some of these corners, so I just gotta use what my car does well to its advantages. It doesn't have a whole lot of power, and as you can see here, this is the last time I won't have to defend on the back straight, and he's on me. So use the arrow, use the tires, use the brakes, and uh, you know, here we go. Back straight, he's gonna get me, I know he is. So I just park it on the right side here, down the back straight. And I'm sure he's like, come on, man. But I had to defend that entry to seven, but he gets a better run up seven. Joel almost gets uh, gets me as well, but Brian makes it happen here on the outside of nine, closes the door. So all I gotta do is focus on trying to get back around Brian and not letting Joel get around me somehow. Uh, we'll let it roll. Enjoy this. This was a whole lot of fun.
want to blow flames and lap all the cars at your local motorsports track, get in touch with Sensory Motorsports today. Outside, I kind of make this one stick a little bit and I do end up pushing them offline into 10. So uh, can I bury the throttle up here up into 11? No. I do push them offline a little bit. I probably could have made it happen. Probably would have ended badly and he probably would have passed me for the straight anyway. So there was Joel right behind me through the checkered flag. What a race guys. Awesome race. That was race one. Awesome. I uh, qualified for first, so I was on kind of the pole for the GT4 class. And uh, that start, just got down in there, got in front of Mike, which was great. But then about three or four laps later, Brian Gay and the GTI just started closing the gap on me. And I guess you'll probably see it in uh, the rear view, but I, I knew he was gonna catch me on the back straight. So I stayed just to the right, all the way down the back straight to block the entry to seven. And uh, he ended up getting a better run up seven and then got me on the outside of nine, but it was just, battle after that. Uh, the tires were kind of overheating a little bit. I had a couple drifts out of two. Uh, just couldn't get them before the end, man, but it was so awesome. Such a great race. Um, I don't know if you could hear, third is grinding like really bad. Um, if, I re if I rev it out, it doesn't grind, but when I came into uh, to the stall here under neutral, it's like chattering. The transmission's chattering. If I put the clutch in, put it in gear, it goes away. So I don't know if that transmission is going to make the next race or not, but we're going to try. Uh, and it looks like it's going to start raining. So grab some lunch, see if we can do that again. But that was awesome. Great driving, Brian. Like what a race, man. Can we go by without that quote? All right, GTI's on my right, stock cars are ahead. We start this the way we ended the last race. But, fun little surprise, Kevin O'Reilly and the E36 M3, he sends it up on the inside of turn one. The stock car gets a little loose, chokes me back. I'm kinda going, oh no, I just lost another position. 
but I drop it down into second gear, stay on the inside of Kevin, and send it up, you know, going into turn three here, and you know, that E36 has got a ton of power, so he's able to pull up the hill, but I get a little better corner entry speed, uh, corner exit here, and he slows up, so I'm able just to focus on the race ahead. So Brian's a little bit further ahead than I would like at this point, but a few laps later, I end up uh, getting back behind him. And we continue the story of the weekend. How to pass Brian Gay with 159 horsepower. Probably less horsepower. I think the next race weekend I'm going to try to pass on the outside of four. So Brian, don't watch this before next race weekend. So here, turn nine. I was able to make it uh, make it almost happen in that last race. So it just I can't I can't hold it. The GTI's got so much power. The turbo just pulls through with front wheel drive and limited slip. And um, yeah, I just I can't make it stick. So. I'm able to kind of outbreak him, out corner him, uh, with the grip and the arrow and the lightness of my car. It's a very small car compared to the GTI, but again, just can't uh, can't do it. I absolutely love this view with the splitter. I got the GoPro mounted right on the splitter. If I ever hit anything like a wall or a barrier or something like that, that GoPro is toast. I mean, probably the front of the car is toast too. But Joel's pretty far back at this point. Brian and I are just trying to get into this battle. Um, really tough. I always get a good run down into one. I can get along the outside of him in two, but again, the car just pulls up the hill. He's got so much more power on me. It's a good advantage to have, but again, what do you do? We'll see. Just past the lap traffic there with Jeremy, and now we're working up to Leon on the next lap. But yellow flags, entry to turn four. <laughs> Whoa! That is a lot of cars in the grass. Now they're all off the off the track, so we kind of stay in and keep the battle going. But now final lap, Leon is on the back straight. Where's Brian going to go? Right, goes to his right. Can I make it happen? No, no. I played safe. I back out of it get back on the throttle. I'm thinking I can just blast up on the outside of Leon, but I forget how much power that car has. Great drive in there, Sky. I get on the inside of nine, I'm thinking, race is over. This is, you know, two more corners to go. What am I going to do? I stay in it. Don't give up. Brian kind of fumbles it here. Ten, up through eleven. I bury the throttle. Man, I got a good run. Stand on the rev limiter past the straight. What a race. Brian told me later that he let up, but I like to think that he didn't. That's a wrap up for this weekend. Uh, the racing was awesome there with Brian, that second race, trying to get him. He ended up uh, backing off uh, just uh, over the, the final corner, and I stood on the rev limiter with this thing all the way down the front straight and couldn't make it happen. We were close, probably within a tenth, I would imagine. But uh, Joel was creeping up on me in the, um, in the middle of the race there, so I was kind of nervous about that. But great weekend. That's second place for both races, so good for points. Um, awesome weekend. It is starting to rain right now, and we just checked the radar, and it is gnarly. So I'm not going to run the one-hour race. I'm just going to get this splitter off, uh, get the car loaded and everything packed, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm Mike Reese, Reese Racing. We'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs> was he? Oh, he was... In second place! Not out of lack of effort, that's for sure. Mike Reese! Yeah. <laughs>
If you made it this far, thanks a ton. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. It'll mean a lot to me. I'm going to be doing this stuff all summer, documenting what I'm doing up here in Atlanta, Canada with the E30. I just picked up a film camera for the first time in January, so bear with me on some of my older shots. And I'm also really new to this videography thing, so it means a ton when you guys view it, like it, subscribe to it. Really appreciate it. I'm going to get started prepping for the next race here in a couple weeks, so we'll see you then. Oh, before I go, Colin Carroll. Thanks so much, man. He's a photographer that did the B-cam on the intro, did the slow motion stuff on the entry to turn two, and then did the still photos for that McLaren photo shoot the day before. Thanks, man. I'm going to cherish those photos for a long time. Appreciate the help so much. Cheers.